What's going on YouTube? Bearded Diabetic coming back at you with another video. Sorry about missing last week. Crazy week. Didn't get a first video up for Christmas season and all that kind of stuff. Kind of dropped the ball on that one. But uh, this is the second Sunday of December. So I thought, you know what? We've got this, uh, if you follow me on any of my other social medias, you know I got this advent calendar uh, for Christmas and leading up to Christmas. It's our first time doing advent calendars. Uh, you know, we thought we would start adding that tradition into our family. And so my beautiful wife got me this 25 sauces of Christmas. It's all hot sauce from the BYOB hot sauce company. Santa's Workshop presents the 25 sauces of Christmas. I uh, got all kinds of different hot sauce in there. And I've been working my way through these and posting some of the photos online uh, as far as, uh, you know, the, the different types for the different days. But I thought, since it's the first full week of, of December now, the first full week of Christmas, leading up to Christmas, that I would do the first week of hot sauces, a little uh, taste test kind of um, to let you know what they are, let you know how they are as far as the ratings, heat-wise, taste-wise, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I've got my first seven sauces here. I've got me a little eggnog in case things get a little warm uh, in my elf cup. Oh my God, Santa, I know him! And I got my elf hat on, getting in the holiday spirit. So yeah, I'm going to get these set up here, get me a little spoon and all that good stuff, and we'll give these a taste. All right, I've got all my sauces set up here. Got me a spoon and a napkin, and of course my uh, my eggnog drink here in case things warmed up. I moved my box over out of the way. I've got it where I can still read it, so if I'm kind of looking this way, that's what I'm doing. Uh, look at the calories and uh, um, the the main ingredient for the most part. Most of these sauces have no calories, uh, but there are a couple that do have some. Uh, in this first week, at least, I think there's just the one. Um, yeah, this first one here has like five calories. Uh, everything else is zero calories. You know, most all your hot sauces definitely have sodium, that kind of thing. Uh, but the main thing is I'm kind of looking to see what the main pepper and the main ingredient in that is uh, to kind of give you an idea of the taste and everything. And this first week I have opened several of these and I have already tried them because uh, I kind of thought about this a little bit after the fact, you know, kind of that newbie mistake or whatever, um, you know, figuring out what I wanted to put on video and all that. But I thought, you know, a lot of these are really, really good. So why not share with you guys and uh, maybe give you the idea, you know, if you really like hot sauce and stuff, maybe you can get you one of these. I have still have plenty of time before Christmas this year, but, you know, even in the future going forward or whatever, uh, if you've got some hot sauce heads, be a really good gift or whatever uh, to pick up for Advent if you, you know, do that tradition in your family. So anyway, this first one, like I said, I've, I've opened several of these. This last one here, um, it has been opened, but I haven't really tried it. Just kind of a little finger dab. Uh, but several of these I've actually been using throughout this first week. So far of the first week of the sauces that I've gotten, the number one is by far my favorite. It's uh, called the First Day of Christmas North Pole Heating Company Hot Sauce. And it claims on here that it's a very hot, uh, but truthfully, this is probably one of the lower heat sauces. So I'm not sure why it's got that caution very hot on there. Um, yes, I do have a high heat tolerance, but you know, even, you know, I, I let my son try that and he has zero heat tolerance and he even didn't think it was that bad. Um, so it's pretty mild as far as heat, but it's got a real smoky, almost Chipotle flavor. Um, uh, very similar to like a barbecue sauce. And I really, really like it. It's my favorite so far. Um, like I say, you know, it's got a real nice smoky red color. If you can see that there. It just has a really good flavor. Very, um, almost like a, a Worcestershire sauce or like a barbecue sauce. Very smoky flavor. Just really good. By far, my absolute favorite for the first week. Um, Taste-wise, definitely, I'd say an 8 out of 10. Heat-wise, uh, really probably just a, a 2 out of 10. Heat-wise, it's not much. Uh, the main pepper in that is an aged cayenne pepper. 
uh, vinegar, onion, cane sugar, brown sugar, whereas that's where your five calories are coming from, the sugar in this one, um, mustard, cinnamon, black pepper, ginger, and allspice are the main ingredients in that, of course, with some preservatives and things like that. But um, so your sugars and your cayenne, smoked cayenne, that's where you're getting that, uh, or aged cayenne, rather, excuse me, that's where you're getting that smoky flavor. This next one, number two, uh, da, 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 da. Comets Cayenne Colon Cleanser. Some of these have some really funny names. Um, it is the second sauce of the week. It's pretty much just like your classic cayenne hot sauce, like a Louisiana, Frank's Red Hot, something along that, you know, just a classic uh, cayenne sauce. Also, really good flavor. Really like it. Um, Heat-wise, it's a little bit stronger than your first one. It's got that classic red look of your hot sauces, your cayenne sauces. Yeah, like a buffalo sauce. Would be absolutely great on some buffalo chicken. Flavor-wise, again, I'm going to say, I mean, since it is just, you know, your classic sauce, I'm going to say probably a 7 out of 10. I like it. I love a classic cayenne hot sauce. Heat-wise, a little bit more than the first one, but still not super hot. I'm going to say maybe a 3, 3 out of 10. But incredible, incredible flavor. Absolutely love it. You, you can't go wrong with a classic cayenne. And it is, you know, as far as your ingredients, uh, vinegar, cayenne, salt, uh, citric acid, you know, your preservatives, that kind of stuff. Pretty basic sauce. No calories in that one whatsoever. Uh, but very, very good flavor. Now, number three... Frosty's Fire Starter. If you can see that one there. This one here, if I remember right, it's labeled as an extremely hot sauce. It does have more fire than the first two by far, but it's still not anything like a, a ghost pepper or even a habanero or anything like that. And, and these come with little descriptions on them, and I'm not going to read every single one of them. But, you know, the whole deal is it's kind of like a little little gimmicky type thing where it's got funny little names, funny little descriptions, and, you know, and then the good hot sauce. Uh, a pungent sauce with a strong bite that subtly enhances the flavor of every dish. Santa's third sauce provides a bite with heat that intensifies as it cooks, often used by Frosty as a fire starter. So, fun little gimmicky uh, sayings. Frosty's fire starter. This is the third one in the series, or the... Well, the third one in the series and the third one for this first week. Again, a little more intense heat. Still has that classic red cayenne look, you know. Uh, the second and third one are thinner sauces than the first one. Your first one was more like a barbecue sauce as far as thickness. Yeah. Definitely more heat than the first two. Um... Flavor-wise, though, I'm actually going to say that this one's not quite as flavorful as the second. Not a bad hot sauce, but just not as flavorful. Um, it's a little bit just just flat as far as just heat-wise. You get the heat, but it kind of leaves you wanting a little more flavor to go along with the heat. You know what I'm trying to say? Um, it's a cayenne base as well. Yeah, pretty much the same as the, the second one, just more intensity as far as the heat's concerned. But I really believe this one has a better flavor. I'm going to say that's probably a 5 out of 10 flavor-wise, and probably a 4, 4.5 out of 10 heat-wise. It does kick up more than the first two. All right. Yeah, this fourth one I really liked as well. It is... Silver Bell Signature Number Four, and it is a wasabi hot sauce. So it's got cayenne, wasabi powder, vinegar, and then your preservatives and all that. Um, I, I, if I remember right, I think I really like the flavor of this one, and I haven't even, you know, reached for my drink. None of these are just extremely hot. I'm sweating because I'm wearing the elf hat. But uh, none of these are just extremely hot. Got a little bit of my mouth water going on. But um, nothing too crazy. This one's got that classic red tint. But it's more thick like that first one. 
Mm. Yeah. It's got a really good flavor as well. I really like that. Flavor-wise, I'm going to say that's probably a 6. 6 out of 10. Heat-wise, um, I'm going to say it's more along the lines of the second one. Maybe a 3 out of 10. It's not nearly as hot as this. But a little bit warmer than this. And some of that could be still coming from the fact that I'm getting a little bit of burn off of that one. But uh, the flavor of that one is very, very unique. It's really hard to describe because it is very similar to the cayenne flavors of these two. But you do pick up a little bit on that horseradish. So um, it's a unique flavor. I really enjoy it. Really enjoy it. All right. Number five. This one was one of the first unique ones that... It run across as far as looks and flavor and all that kind of stuff. Um, I posted online with this one. You know, I was really shocked by the clear sauce uh, that comes on day seven. But uh, this was one of the first ones that uh, was kind of along that line as far as uniqueness. And it's number five mistletoe potion. And it's a banana pepper hot sauce. Very sweet, very mild flavor. Um, in fact, it says that on the side. Fifth sauce is a mild and tangy sauce that goes perfectly on sandwiches, salads, pizza, tastes great on everything. It, it kind of reminds me of if you've ever been to the um, the pizza parlors and you get the little jar of peppers that's on the table. Um, got the little Tabasco peppers and the vinegar and all that kind of stuff. It reminds me of that. Very tangy, very sweet. Um, really good flavor. I'm going to try that one next. And I really like the unique yellow flavor or color of that rather. Uh, very neat looking. You can kind of see it's just kind of that yellow tint. Yeah, very sweet, very tangy. Um, I think that would be really good on like some chicken, some greens, uh, fish. That'd be really good on fish. Things that you eat vinegar on. Very, very, very good. Heat-wise, it's almost non-existent. I'm going to say 1 out of 10. No heat, really, to speak of, but flavor, man, 8 out of 10, probably. I really like the sweet flavor of that, the uh, the tanginess of it. 8 out of 10 flavor, 1 out of 10 heat. Very unique, very good. Oh, yeah, number 6. This is another one that they're calling an extra hot spicy sauce. It's uh, Blitzen's Mouth Blitz Blitzer. That's a tongue tire, tongue twister. Blitzen's Mouth Blitzer extra hot sauce. Blitzen often needs a little firing up as Christmas Eve approaches. This carefully blended mix of cayenne, habanero, and Tabasco peppers is just what the doctor ordered. So, whereas this one they were calling an extremely hot sauce, it was just cayenne. This is the first one in the series that adds extra hot peppers. You get the habanero, Tabasco, and the cayenne. Again, I have tried this one um, I'm, I must have just tried it a couple of times, getting it out of the out of the box, obviously, because there's some out of it. But I honestly don't remember what the flavor is like on this one. So I'm gonna try this one again. It's a much thicker sauce. It still has the the bright red. But you can see it's it's a much, much thicker consistency. Really just kind of holds over the spoon, moves all around. So, mm. okay, now I do remember that one. This one, by, by far, the spiciest of the first week. Again, nothing that's going to blow the top of your head off, but um, it's got a lot of that back of the throat burn. <clears throat> kind of intensifies and in fact as I'm talking I'm going to get just a little bit of sip just to kind of clear things up a little bit because that one does have some heat <sighs> eggnog and hot sauce what a combination okay a lot thicker even than the first one extremely thick flavor wise you can pick up on the habanero, I think, more than anything. Habanero's kind of got that unique flavor, almost like a cayenne. 
uh, obviously hotter, but it, it's got that unique flavor that you can pick up on. I've got a little bit of a mouth water going on with this one. Um, I'm going to say heat. Uh, maybe five out of ten. Five and a half out of ten. Um, I don't know. It's one of those that kind of cook on you a little bit. It's, it's in the back of the throat a little bit, the back of the tongue. So it, it feels like it might be building just a hair. But, you know, even as I say that, it's almost like it, it's intensifying but going away at the same time, if that makes sense. Almost like a wave. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's almost completely gone now at this point. So I'm going to go with five and a half. I'm going to go with five and a half out of ten as far as heat. Flavor-wise, it reminds me a lot of kind of the, the, the one-note flavor of the Cayennes. It's good. Don't get me wrong. It's good. But you get more heat than you really do anything else. So I'm going to say a 6 out of 10 as far as flavor. I like it. I really do. As far as spice is concerned, this is by far the one that, you know, of the first week that I go to if I just want just heat. Um, and, and, but it's really good. Really good. All right. Number seven is the unique one. And you can see very little bit of that is even missing. Um, I did, you know, crack the top on it and kind of done the little finger test because I almost thought this was a mistake because I thought, you know, what in the world, this advent calendar, they done messed up and put a bottle of just plain white vinegar in there for hot sauce. But no, this is on the package, on the uh, photos online, this is a clear sauce. So I was really kind of floored by that. I hadn't seen a clear hot sauce uh, up to this point. Um, so it, it really kind of caught me off guard, kind of threw me off. It is North Pole Original Krampus Blend Hot Sauce Number 7. Now, this one little uh, description on the side says, It's a secret sauce obtained from Krampus in the mountains of Central Europe. This sauce packs a punch and adds an aromatic flavor to many dishes. When I tasted this, Again, I had already in my head that it was a mistake, so when I done the little finger dab, I was like, yeah, that's exactly what they done, it's just vinegar. But I'm going to try it again, kind of like with an open mind, because I have figured out since then that it is legitimately just a clear sauce. And I'm going to try to kind of pick up on what this one is. All it says in there, that it's distilled vinegar, peppers, onion juice, garlic salt and natural flavoring so it doesn't really give a lot of description secret blend um so i don't know what peppers they're talking about it is very thin it is very much like vinegar but it's supposed to be so i'm going to give that one a try yeah it's obviously not plain vinegar i can tell that from the flavor much like the banana pepper one, next to no heat at all, a one, one out of ten. Um, Flavor-wise, it's it, it's tricky. It's good. It's tangy. It's got a little bit of sweetness to it, but that's that. That's about it. I really don't know about this one. I can't distinguish any uh, distinguishable characteristics that would make it known what that blend of peppers is uh, there's no you know cayenne there's no habanero obviously uh, even with the banana peppers you know if you've ever eaten pepperoncinis or banana pepper rings or anything like that that's what flavor you get from this one this one you can tell it's not plain vinegar but i don't really know what it else is beyond that um, because it's not a distinguishable flavor it's good man it's hard i'd say i'd say five out of ten flavor just kind of mid-grade just because i can't really figure it out um one out of ten on heat so these are my first seven and you know and uh, like i said in the beginning i kind of went into this a little bit backwards and had tried them beforehand and all of that um my next batch i will try to do another video similar to this and try them get, get a first effect try i'll leave them sealed up and everything and kind of try them firsthand with you guys um and that way we can try them first together 
uh, yeah, if you like this kind of format, just, um, you know, me kind of just sharing my thoughts with little things like this. Uh, I am a big spice head, so trying these different hot sauces and things is something that I'm definitely planning on doing more in the future. If you haven't seen on my other social media, um, I did get qualified, I guess is the right word. I'm not really sure what the right word is. I did get put on to the League of Fire uh, website. I am on their Moab table. I think I actually lost a couple of positions because there's been some folks that have come out and tried the Moab and ended up uh, getting some higher times, obviously. But I am still, I think if I remember right, last time I looked, I was still in top 10, but maybe just in 10. Um, so I don't know. I may have been pushed out of top 10 now. I haven't checked it in a few days. And I know several YouTubers and several competitive eaters have attempted the Moab Challenge since then. Um, so those times are constantly shifting and everything. But even even top 20, I am super, super proud of that. Uh, I feel like it's a little bit of an accomplishment for me uh, being put onto the uh, National Registry for the League of Fire website. And uh, to make it onto their uh, top eaters table for the Moab bar. Definitely planning on doing some more spice stuff. Would love to be able to do some chili competitions and things. So if you guys know of any that are coming up around my area, um, southeast region or anything, be sure to let me know. Um, let me know if you like this kind of format down in the comments below. Uh, if you have any ideas that you want me to try as far as hot sauces or anything like that, uh, be sure to let me know. I know a couple of the big boys out there, the Mad Dog 357, uh, Nasal Napalm, Horseradish, all of those are on my list. Um, you know, haven't been able to get around to those yet, but they are definitely in the plans in the future. Going to do some more with uh, the uh, Tube of Terror and the Death Nut kind of challenges and all of that kind of stuff uh, as we go into the future as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to wrap this video up. I just wanted to kind of give you a little taste test and a flavor uh, profile and a rating on my first seven sauces of the BYOB Santa's Workshop 25 Sauces of Christmas Advent Calendar. As always, guys, be sure and like, be sure and share, be sure and subscribe if you haven't already. And, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. I love you guys. Bye!